Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Sherry Rose Unique Freak. I'm going to be doing some really cool makeup with y'all today. It's going to be some rainbow makeup. And this is more of like an advanced rainbow makeup um, look rather than a simple one. I will do my best to, in the new setup, uh, do a actual like quick, easier version of this makeup. Um, obviously first I'm going to go in and do my eyebrows per usual. And pretty soon we'll just make, I think I'm just going to make an actual just doing my eyebrow video and have that posted so that anyone who wants to go see how I do my eyebrows can come back and do this, especially since, oh my gosh guys, you're going to love this. I've started coloring my eyebrows. It was a new thing I tried with my sunset sunrise hair, sunrise sunset hair. And um, I did not record that, sorry about it. We're trying to figure out a better situation for recording the um, hair dye tutorials. So just bear with us on that <clears throat> while I figured that out. But I did try dyeing my eyebrows and I loved it. So this will actually probably be my last videos like coloring my eyebrows brown, unless of course I'm trying to color, cover up, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> cover up the color in my eyebrows. But yeah, super exciting. I'm excited for y'all to see that. I'm gonna re-dye my hair soon, so. I will make sure to do that video with my hair color and my eyebrows getting done so be sure to check back for that video guys I appreciate you all right so like you saw just filling it all in straightening it up as best as I can take my concealer here and this is my light concealer I have two different colors that you'll see when I do my full face this is the lighter concealer to my um, color and I'm just gonna take my brush and after I dab it on my hand like that I'm just gonna take my brush and then I'm gonna dab the brush and kind of flatten it out to the best abilities so that I can make it super super straight and I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna create like a little grid on my face. And I try and follow my natural line. Um, I will be doing, I've done one, but I kind of want to do a different one to show y'all how I do my, how I pluck my eyebrows and make them, um, symmetrical and when I do that it'll give you a little bit of an understanding of how I'm able to actually see my lines on my face better just doing my makeup because I do that um, I do a grid on my face to actually do my eyebrows so after you do it after a while you get those lines um, memorized Because I do do the grid when I do my eyebrows, it does make it easier to do this, by the way. Just so y'all know, it does make it a lot easier because my eyebrows are pretty much already lined up. And I just have to go over and clean it, clean up the um, eyebrow pencil that I'm using, mostly. When I start getting a little furry, uh, yeah, my creativity with those lines get a little more advanced, but... Um, when they're freshly plucked like these are, it's much easier because fresh lines. I always got to double check they're straight. No one wants crooked eyebrows. Okay. 
egg and do the tops here. Yep, just matching them up. This is obviously in the old setup, guys. <clears throat> like I said before, we do have our new setup, and I am starting to do videos in here, so they're gonna be a lot better. We're just kind of bust through all the old videos that I've already done, so that my husband can have some fun learning how to edit and do some cool stuff with all of this. Before we start really going into the ones that are gonna be easier initially to edit and do some fun stuff with, but might as well work out all the kinks on all these old ones. And just go back over to really make those lines a little more prominent. And to make sure that all my color matches throughout my eyebrows. I don't want one color to be darker, or one side to be darker than the other. So you always want to make sure the color in the eyebrows look the same. Just cleaning up. Are you trying to see if they're straight? Not straight? They look straight. They look even? This point's just a little high. Fix that. What's off? Something off? Does it look right? I think it looks right. Uh, maybe this point's just a little more.
think this is the day I was having some eyebrow problems. It was not wanting to work with me to that day. some concealer on my eyeballs not my eyeball but my lids and I take that same lighter concealer um, I don't ever give you all the names because I don't want y'all to assume we're um, the same color because the colors on the camera is a little different from in life so it seems like really 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 white on camera right now but it really actually is more of a tan color in person so I always want y'all to get the colors that are right for your face so just make sure when you're doing this you just take the shade that's a smidgen lighter than your color is what I'm using here And I usually do um, a brighter concealer, a lighter concealer, excuse me, not brighter, a lighter concealer um, on my eyes so that all the color really pops. And for whatever reason, I found that this really holds if I, I'm not quite sure if I do it in this one, but when I use primers, this actually holds that primer in place and allows that primer to really sit correctly on your um, eyelids and help with the color. It'll really help that color stick. This also helps with um, any darkness or bagginess under your eyes. For whatever reason, I've also noticed this helps a lot with showing that, um, not showing it off, but helping clean up those dark circles and making it not seem like you're so tired. Okay, so now I'm going in with the primer. And I'm just gonna do the same thing I did with concealer, just cover everywhere that I feel like the eyeshadow is gonna be touching or going on, which is pretty much the whole entire eyelid. Top and bottom. Thank you. 
I can see what spot that's bothering me and I'm being a little OCD about it. But I get that way when it comes to my face. I never notice that my eye jiggles whenever I do that. I'm stabbing my eyelid with the brush. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with this Profession Neon. Can't really see the name because I've used this a lot. It's actually what I first started using for my um, SFX makeup, but I use it for real makeup and life. Okay, so I'm gonna start out with the, what am I starting out with? I believe I should be starting with the red if I'm doing rainbow. Is my brain not working? What do you mean? Okay. <laughs> We're gonna figure this out together, guys. I've gotten better at this. I'm so happy to see this now because I've gotten a lot better at what I'm trying. There we go. That blue. Name will be put on the screen right now oh I see oh yeah okay I'm doing the blue first for the sky and I actually go in um, a little deeper with the color on the inner lid and then just kind of spread it out upwards so that the color lightens because um, like I said I'm doing rainbow so I have to have a pretty blue sky Yep, just deepening that color in the actual crease. And other side.
Okay, I'm gonna go in with them. Am I thinking about what I'm gonna show you? Nope. I'm going in with the pink slash red because I do this, I do both colors kind of here. And I believe I show you eventually that I'm doing that. There we go. Red. I'm doing the red. And this is just kind of the base color because I'm going to be going in with um, Urban Decay's, I just blanked on their name, neon colors, and go over all of this color with those. But I usually do this, in my opinion, it makes the colors stick and brighter. I don't know, I think it's because they have like a lighter base. So I do do that. Okay, I'm going in with the orange. And I slightly overlay where the red has hit. So they blend together as I go down the line of colors. All right, I'm going in with the yellow. I didn't show you that, and I'm sure I will here in a minute, but I'm putting in the yellow. Doing the same thing, kind of overlaying on that orange that was previous to it so that those colors blend together well. Maybe I won't make these faces as much while I'm talking to y'all whilst doing my makeup. Just make some weird faces. ever show you that I was using the yellow it's a yellow from the same palette guys just letting you know I did it boo boo and wait until you're gonna see you and I will watch together as we see my face realize the boo boo I make right here which as you know it is not blue that comes next in the rainbow Watch me discover my screw up. I don't know when it is, so we're gonna be surprised together. Man, it takes me a while to realize this, doesn't it? Mm hmm, looks nice. It's nice. Doesn't look right. Oh, I'm smart. <laughs> I messed up. It's okay. So all I gotta do is blue. So I gotta do is take the brighter green. Or I'll just do a little rub-a-dub. Or I'll just take the brighter green. Nope, I'm gonna do a rub-a-dub. I'm gonna do a little rubby dub where the blue is. This is what I use, guys. I use a rag, super fancy. I should probably use those like super soft, better ones, but I like pain, so this rag does that trick.
All right, now that I saw the error in my ways, I shall go back with the green. Oh, the yellow to fix the error that I just made. Error. Okay, fix the yellow. Perfect. Perfect, okay. Now, the green. Yay, fix the problem. Didn't show you the green in that either. It's the gray, it's the light green and the same palette, guys. I promise I've gotten better. All my videos are scattered, so y'all have seen me in the new studio doing the Red Devil makeup and out in the old studio, out with the old camera. So all of our stuff is kind of jumbled. We will have it more straightened up, I want to say by January. I would believe by December, by the end of December, we should be done with all our old videos and be able to start posting more um, videos in a correct order. Oh yay, I showed you, I used this green. Pew pew, pew pew, pew pew. Showing you for effect at this point, pew pew, pew pew, to go there. Okay, now I go, now I do the blue. Almost is up, I'm gonna do the blue, pew pew. And a pew pew. Perfect, a little more blue. Okay, I don't have purple in this palette, but I have this like fuchsia e ish pink, and that's what I do for the purple because I put it over that blue so it actually turns it more purple. And like I said, this is just the pre pre coloring. This is this is the lineup. of how she, she'll she look soon with the Urban Decay. Okay. Perfect. Pew pew pew. Super messy. Look at my cheats. And this is sometimes what I do with the purple is I do make like a little line here. Oh, it's not where the purple is, it's that fuchsia color. But I make this line to kind to kind of like outline the other colors. I just like the way it looks. I think it's always looked really cute. Okay. Going in with Urban Decay Electric. This brush comes with it. With this palette. I love this palette. It's one of my favorite palettes. Okay, I'm gonna go in with that purple. Like I said, I'm going to follow my outline with all the other colors.
Sometimes in the corner of my eyes, certain colors won't stay. Uh, it just could be because my eyes are irritated or whatever. Okay, and then I'm going with the blue, and I'll go over that blue area that I had outlined. There we go. I'm using that blue. I'm shaking my head at myself because I'm not doing a great job, but great job. Great job at this. I know words, guys. I do. I just choose not to use them correctly. Actually, not choice. It's just my face and my, my brain don't collaborate on the words that are about to come out of my face. My face hole. Next up, green. Can't forget the green. Smack that in there. Little smack, a smack. guys just following the outline that I just previously made with the other color All right, going in with the yellow. There we, there we go. I'm, I'm doing a great job, guys. Proud of my seal. She bright. She a bright yellow. She, she doing good. Going in with the orange. There you go. Like a beautiful butterfly alien. A beautiful alien butterfly. I'm taking this bright pink to go over that red.
going in with more of this um, kind of the same pink that I got from the other one, that fuchsia -y color, to darken up that pink a little more. To give it nods of pink and red. I do do a mix up every now and then of just doing red or pink. I like the pink because I'm a girl and a girly and I like it. Um, and then sometimes I just do the red because I like the red a lot more. But I do do a, like, a mix up of the two every... It just kind of depends on how I'm feeling. Okay, I'm going with this blue here. My creasy brush. And I'm going to clean up inner parts of our lid. Just clean all that up. Make it a little more buffed out and party. Helps kind of buff out the color um, from what you were doing with your lid so it doesn't look so messy up there. So it gives you really a really good sky feel, in my opinion. buffing up just a little at a time. I don't want to put too much blue at the top because obviously I need some whitish up there for some clouds. And now we're going to do the same thing on this side. Just buff it out and get that color fixed to look correct. Light skies. Like blue skies with a rainbow inside. I really want to do some butterfly makeup now where it comes down on my cheeks. I've done it before, but now I'm really just watching me do this makes me really want to do some butterfly makeup. Which butterfly makeup is so much fun. It's definitely a um, look, so it's not something you wear out on the daily, but she's a lot of fun. And the white eyeliner I have is killer. It does not come off. Which is awesome, but when but not awesome when you don't need it to be awesome. When you're ready to take it off. And you wake up with white dots on your face because you couldn't scrub the crap out of that the night before. But it's fine. Love it. Love it. Love it. <laughs> okay, girl. I think your blue is done. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna do this pretty silver. And I go lightly with this. I love it. I use it for all kinds of stuff, but it's beautiful because it helps my clouds, wink wink, shine like little clouds in the sky. No clouds in the sky don't shine, but if they did, they would shine like this.
And like I said, I do it under my eyebrows um, to accentuate my eyebrows a little bit. And I don't know. Um, I just, when I was growing up doing my makeup, learning how to do my makeup, when I was learning how to do my eyebrows and everything, um, everything that I ever saw was like, do a light color at your eyebrows. So I do. Um, I don't like putting dark colors at my eyebrow for sure. But I do do try, I do. And I'm taking my lovely painful rag, because you know we love pain, and we're scrubbing our face clean of the places the color should not be. Perfect. Now I'm gonna take my gold right here, which is gonna represent the sun. I'm gonna do it on the inside of my eyeball liner. I not quite sure what this is called. The inside of the lining of the guy. This part. The inside though, not underneath it. Some people can do this, some people can't. I know. I, tr I trust. I trust in your skillies. Going under the liner, under the eye line now. Scrubbing that gold on there. actually look into getting rid of my eyeliners. It's about time I get some new ones because these, these are a little old. A little old. And I should probably not be using them around my eyeballs, but burritos gotta do what a burrito's gotta do. Super gold. Love it. Like I said, it's, um, this is with the old setup, the old camera, so the coloring is terrible, so you probably can't really see that gold, but, um, in, in life, in life you can, <laughs> in the real, in the real world, you can see it pretty well. Um, and I don't know the name of that gold either, and I don't know if we'll have that name for you, because, like I said old and I do not suggest doing that but I support you and your needs and your goals in life because I understand them okay and so just going and combing the eyelashes and in these old videos if you have been keeping up with me you know that I don't normally do um falsies, false eyelashes, because I did not like them. But I started up with them again. I started up with a new brand. Um, I'm trying some different glues, but um, so far I'm getting used to them and I, I miss them. I did miss my little falsies. So soon you'll be seeing me put those on and I'm super interested to see how that's gonna go in a camera. So, cause I already have a blast trying to do this mascara without looking strange for y'all. E, which never turns out well for me. Well, that's what I'm doing now. I'm going in with my mascara. Because I believe this is when I stopped using my little clamps of death on my eyelashes. Guess 
sometimes my makeup does look cuter with lashes, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, y'all don't have to wear them. If you're like me and you get annoyed with them and you get tired of them and the itchiness, and I have contacts, it's just a lot, so I get it. Just do you, boo. But I'm getting back to my lashes. And soon, after I get out of my lashes, hopefully, the next month or two, I will be getting my other setup in this studio, which will be my actual setup, not my shared setup with my husband's stuff and our ghost hunting stuff, but I'll have my actually own done uh, makeup stand. So I'm excited for that. When that happens, I'll be able to do a whole lot more, guys. I'm so excited. I'll be able to buy more makeup. I'll be able to get rid of some makeup to make way for new makeup. Oh my god, and new toys. That's what I'm excited about is once I get my new setup, I can start ordering some weird makeup stuff I've started to find on the interwebs, like weird. And even old, I'm trying to find some like old stuff that you might not see and I'm super excited to start ordering that stuff and opening it up and trying it and showing it off with you guys because you know, you never know. Y'all might end up liking it with me or finding it gross, disgusting, weird, or frankly just not not usable or pointless. Those are always fun for me because if I can't figure it out, why? Why get it? For the pure joy of seeing if we can figure it out. I do that too. But yeah, stay tuned with me guys. I'm so excited to get my setup done. I think it's gonna be awesome. And I have a whole plan, oh my god, for how it's how I want it to like what I wanna get and how I wanna decorate and what I wanna put on the walls to decorate. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to show y'all. And we finally came up with the theme for the studio and not doing any spoilers yet because we have to get everything ready and set for it. But I'm so excited because it's gonna be so cool. I'm doing different concepts for each one of my rooms in the house. So, um, like I'm gonna start with my little rooms because those are less expensive, obviously, um, to get stuff for. So I'm starting out actually with my guest bathroom and I'm gonna start buying stuff for that. But, oh, I'm just so excited for y'all to go on this journey with us, with me and my husband. He's really just the support in, in the decorating, not really. He really just kind of is my cheerleader when it comes to the decorating stuff. But I'm so excited for y'all to go on the journey of each room getting done in weird, fun, cool ways. I'm so excited because my house is going to be so freaking cool when it's done. And then once it's done, I have to start getting holiday stuff for each room, which is... <sighs> I like being an adult child. I'm just stabbing my eye like that to try and get some of the little black dots from my um, lashes. Because my lashes do curl naturally back pretty far so they'll touch the color. So I'm just trying to get the pieces off. So. And then I'm just going in now to change the or sorry, not to change, but to uh, clean up those little black dots from mascara.
All right, both eyes are done. I'm gonna go in and go ahead and do my full face. So I go in with my concealer and do my lines. This is gonna be the darker shade. So it's a shade darker than my skin tone. Just one shade. Sorry about that. Get stuff in my eyes, so it bothers me. But anyway, so now I'm back in and I've done all my dark coloring. I have other videos with me doing my full face if you want to go see it. Um, I think I'll also do a short video of me just doing my full face one day so that everyone can see how to do that. Just like basic eye makeup. I'll just do a basic one like that so anyone can just go in and just do a little click it a clack what I do um, and then I can say the same thing that I usually do about coloring and stuff like that because I want anyone to feel pressured that they have the, you know, get the same colors as me. Of course this is obviously the shade lighter than my skin tone. And this is actually where I go in and shape the rest of my eye color to make it fit my shape of how I really want it to point and look. As you can tell, the difference between the two as I'm starting to work. Excuse the eye rolls, contacts per usual. Plus I had something in my eyeball earlier, if you could not tell. That was bothering me, so. I always find times to have contacts and be blind, guys. A great trend you should definitely go for it if you want to be blind your whole life it's awesome i say that i'm i really am not blind i just i really am obviously i'm not blind i just i'm really 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 can't see i really just really can't see um it's really bad like <laughs> I like to tell people, like, the best way to describe it is, um, everything is just blobs. Close, far, doesn't matter, it's all blobs. And they just get worse every year. The blobs just get worse. <laughs> it looks like art. Really, really blurry artwork of people and objects and things. Can't read. Oh god, don't even try to, uh, that won't, unless it's too, maybe an inch away from my face. And we're pushing that at this point. Okay, so I do go in and fix my shape sometimes because I do mess up while doing the concealer, so obviously you see me fixing that. And that side. This helps me do all my finishing touches on my eyeballs. Especially with the color because if I don't like something or if I don't think, like for instance, I don't see enough green here, so I'm putting more green. Looks better. I like. I do my little chin. Chinny chin.
Okay, so just going in and putting in my powder, full coverage powder. Which I'm glad I didn't show any of my stuff to you. I'm gonna I'm doing better guys. I especially re-watching these now that I've done some other ones. I know what to fix. I'm doing good. I'm doing alright. Thanks for sticking through with me, guys. You're great. So it is a really good blush that I'm fixing to use from um, Vermont, the Vermont store, if I'm not wrong, I believe that's the name of it. Um, and it's a really cool like color matching. I'm having some problems, but ignore that. Um, it's a really good color matching sh uh, why am I wanting to say shadow? I'll think of the word, one moment. Blush. Oh my god. It's a color changing blush. Why was that so hard? Um, but yeah, it's a color changing blush. Now, I do suggest, like, unless you're gonna be. <laughs> test it. Let me just say that. Test this before going anywhere. Because. I did not, and I did not realize, because it's it didn't really come with instructions or anything, just a heads up, I didn't realize that it needs to sit a second, and the more it sits, the darker it gets, or darker, brighter, whatever color it is, it, more of it than it should be. So. Just be very, very careful and test it out. Like I'm putting on a lot, but I am going to the bar. So at the bar in low lighting, obviously it doesn't look that bright. But in daylight, it is very, very bright. So just be careful if y'all decide to go get this guys. Um, love it, love, love, love it. Just be careful. <laughs> It was not, it was an eye-opening experience that, in the daytime especially, because, oh, I rarely use this as a daytime blush. I'm not going to lie, because it, it does, I'm also hot, I'm a hot-bodied type person, like I run hot, so, yeah, like I, I put off heat, but I'm always cold, if that makes any sense. My body's hot, but I am always cold, if that makes sense. So, for whatever reason, it just makes that blush come out so much. And you can see it right now. Like, if you watch very closely as, look, see, on that side, it's starting to turn really, really red. Not red. It's more of, like, a bright pink. And be, again, careful, because this does change and wherever you place it it will change it so you just got to make sure to hit the same spots like really good because you want to make sure those colors match on each side and then I'm going in with this elf um, highlighter and it is so nice it is their rose gold one and I love it rose gold is one of my favorite colors one of my favorite colors being black my favorite always oh it's so pretty but I just highlight my cheeks and then I'm gonna highlight my little nose oh yeah I'm gonna kind of blend that first And my nose. Boop a doop. Boop a doop. Okay. 
and chin and keep it bow and then I actually do all around the lips and on the top of my forehead perfect perfect I did a perfect dance And then I gotta clean my little lips off. Oh yeah, I gotta do my beauty marks. All my favorite moles that I have on my face. My constellation moles. This is a little bitty mole. I make him bigger than what he actually is. I don't know why I call him a he. It's a she. I make her a little bigger than she actually is. I don't try to. I try to make her the correct size, but she is there and I love her. And then I make these are my three moles that I have on my mouth. And they're pretty accurate to size most, most of the time. Sometimes they're a little bigger. And a little darker than what they actually are, but and then I'm doing a plumper right now. This stuff burns, just to let you know. I try to be really precise with it because it plumps up anything that touches. <laughs> My eye rolls. Sorry about that. You'll probably see those in the future. Oh, I'm talking in my videos in the future, so you'll see me in the adjustment period. Maybe not. We'll cut some of those most of the time. <laughs> going in and I'm cleaning up not really cleaning up but getting stuff out of my eyeball from all the makeup all right here is my finished makeup I don't put my hair down, I should. I am doing a better job on that, but here you go guys. I appreciate you, hope you like it. Let me know what you think. See you later, love you all my little freaks. My little freaky flowers. Bye.